Each child's journey toward an education is much different and often unknown. And for all too many, their paths are a constant uphill struggle. Oftentimes, when a mentor or a role model is needed, there are none to be found. Detachment, anger, fear, common emotions that no child should embody at a young age. Thankfully, there are lights that gleam through the darkness. Individuals who make it their life mission to provide an ear to listen, extend an arm for a warm hug, or open their hand to let a child know you will never walk alone. Well, I'm from Wilmington. I went to elementary here in Wilmington. I went to junior high school at Gallagher Middle School, which is um, pretty much out of Newark. And I went to a high school that's in Newark as well, High School Tech. So just me coming back and able to be a role model and a figure in my city that was one raised in means a whole lot to me. For Dr. Terrence Newton, his ability to educate stems from creativity. His push for success is a priority. His want for the betterment of the children is evident. And his love for his students is personal. I decided to set this barber shop up to pretty much just build relationships with our students and to kind of be that love and caring principle to support our students. A lot of our students in, in our school really can afford to pay for haircuts. So with me coming on as a principal this year, I decided to open up a barber shop because a lot of kids wanted their haircuts and it allowed me to build a relationship. It also allowed me to connect my third, fourth, and fifth graders together who really don't get a chance to communicate and interact and intertwine with each other. There's a lot of potential. It brings a lot of brotherhood here. Like, when you sit down, you can, like, talk to your friends and stuff. And, like, it ain't no, like, you can like a peaceful place to get your hair cut. You be like, what y'all grades looking like? And he just asks us about, like, School like, stuff. Yeah. So tell me what your grades look like so far. I got, I got honor roll. I got, I got, uh, I, can, I think I got a C in ELA, a B in math, and I think another seat. Why do you gotta sit? That haircut looks nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good haircut. Yeah. It's just a great time to just, you know, build a relationship with our kids and kind of get them to focus on what they need to focus on. We talk anything for as um, grades to uh, anything that's going on at home, to sports to them, um, you know, what they're doing over the weekend. So, you know, it's just a great opportunity for my kids to bond and for, them, for me to tell them I love them and what I expect from them during the time of me cutting their hair. Education is, is, is a lot of work. It's not a nine to five job. It's pretty much 24 seven. And what I can do as a principal to better myself, to better my teachers, to better my parents, to better my community, so that we can better our children.